be sure to check out my Vivi and Omi investors group in the description down below. Together we build generational wealth and go over everything you need to be profitable in the VV markets. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. In this one, we're going to be going over how to take your Omi tokens back off of the exchange and put them into your Ethereum Omi token um, trust wallet. So yeah, we're going to be going over that. Um, shout out to the homie Crypto Dan. He's actually the one who showed me this small tutorial to help me out, and this is how I was able to do it. So I'm going to walk you all through the tutorial he gave me to help you all get that done a little bit faster. So here we go right here. As you can see, we're going to start off here on this, this, um, this, this, this right here, this link. So this was an article that came out from Ecomi. I'm going to leave this link down below in the description so you can go to this, this article for yourself. And you're going to go to number four, I believe. Number four, I don't remember which section. Number four, no, that's not, not that number four. Um, is it this one? Go chain, no, it's not that one. Oh, it's the big number four, the big number four. So that's step three, step number four. Right here, step number four and four. So enter the Ethereum OMI contract address. So this Ethereum OMI contract address, this is what you're going to be putting into your trust wallet. So let's let's go and watch the video now so I can show you exactly how to get the OMI, the um Ethereum OMI token on your trust wallet. So yeah, we're gonna go over here to this video now. The homie um um Dan helped us get check this out. All right, so as you can see, <clears throat> goes down the article to step number four, and then goes to number four, Ethereum OMI contract address. You're going to copy this address. And that's where you're going to go to the trust wallet. And as you can see, like, you know how you, you add your little token, you're going to, you're going to add, you're going to add one, but you're going to go all the way down to a custom. You want to go to add custom token, add custom token down here at the bottom, right? And that's when you paste that contract address and then it's going to automatically pop up after you paste the contract address. And there you have it. There you have it. So you'll be able to get, get that done there. And then you'll be able to receive tokens to this, to this, um, to this right now, you'll be able to receive tokens here. So you're gonna click on receive after you do this, and that's when you're gonna get what you need to take over to your um take take over to your exchange. So let's go here. Let's let's see if he shows any more of that. No, he just shows it there. So yeah, that's how you get it on your wallet. So so that's the process of getting it on Trust Wallet. That's how you get. Make sure you're you're only using you're only using the link from VV though. Make sure you only use the link from VV. Um, I'm going to leave it linked down below. Make sure, make sure it's the right link. Make sure everything's on the up and up. Ecomi up here. Make sure you see the Ecomi, Ecomi, Immutable X. Like, make sure this is the official, you know, the official thing. I'm going to leave it linked down below, so you should be good on that front. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you copy that and you, you follow that, you follow that step. Um, I'll show you the step one more time. Show you the step one more time so you can be sure. Once you, once you're in the wallet, you copied it, you you go you go to your trust wallet and you scroll all the way down to the very bottom. You scroll all the way to the very bottom and you just, you add a custom token, you press paste, and there you have it. You press paste and there, there you go, save and that's it, that's it. Now you have your Ethereum OMI token. And now, the next part, how do you actually get from the exchange back over there? So we're gonna be doing Bit4x since that's what I use. If you have your um, tokens on Bit4x, you're gonna do this. You're gonna go to your receive right here, receive. You're gonna click that, and then you're gonna copy. You're gonna copy the 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 um the numbers that's in there. You're gonna copy it. You're gonna copy what's in there on your receive. Then you're gonna go. You're gonna go here. So here we're on Bit4x. As you can see, you're going to choose the chain name. They still have Go tokens on um on Bit4x, but you want your ER you want your ERC20 tokens. So make sure you search that ERC20 tokens, and you're going to add you're going to add your withdrawal address. You want to add your withdrawal address here, 
and you just copy and paste. You're gonna add a new address here. And and that's, that's gonna be that address right here. That that address that you, you, once you click receive, because you want to receive Omi into this trust wallet, once you click receive and you copy that, you're gonna come over here, go to a new address and throw that in there. And what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna put a test amount in. So the minimum amount of Omi you can actually send, you can actually withdraw is 260,000. That's a lot of Omi. That's a lot of Omi to withdraw. 260,000 Omi is a ton of Omi to withdraw. So I, I mean, depending on how much Omi you have, you might not even be able to do a test run. I would recommend testing with the minimum amount of Omi first because you want to make sure you've connected your wallet right. You don't wanna just send all your money here and it could potentially be the wrong address that you just sent it to, but... Mm. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. Your boy just got off stream. My bad, y'all. But I wanted to get this out for you all because I promised you all after the stream I would throw this video up here for you all who didn't know how to do it. Um, But yeah, after you've put in your address here, you want to put in the minimum, like, like the minimum, because this is just what you got to put in. And there is a fee. As you can see, it's going to cost 7.6 thousand Omi for you to, um, for you to do it, for you to do this transaction. So it's, it's quite a bit more expensive than, than on GoChain. But I mean, that's the price you pay of being on Ethereum. So, I mean, it, it's sad, but yeah, I mean, that, that's just what we got to do. That's what we got to do for being on Ethereum. So, as you can see, this is the minimum amount of Omi that we're allowed to withdraw here. And yeah, so you're gonna do that. And after, so if you have enough to test it first and do this amount, after you test it, it should take like, it should take between 10 to 30 minutes, maybe an hour for it to get over into your trust wallet. Once you see that that's gone to your trust wallet, then you can just throw, do all of it and send all of it over there. So yeah, like, the the mo the most you're gonna be doing, it's just nerve wracking waiting and and hoping that it comes over like that that transition of getting it over there. It's always like, it's always ah, it's nerve it's nerve wracking. It's like uh, bro, I need I need this bread. I need this. So it's it's always it's, it always make you nervous, man. It makes you a little bit nervous trying to, you know, wait wait on wait on your tokens to go from one place to another. But once it finally gets there and you feel that you feel that relief. Um, yeah, then you could just go ahead and send everything you have over there. So that that's pretty much it, honestly. That that that's that's the whole process. Uh, uh, Once you um have it sent over, you're good. You you just leave it over there in, in, in that um in your trust wallet. So this is how you convert it. This how you, this how you this is the whole process basically. This is the whole process. It's very very simple. Once you get into it, it should not take too long at all. But yeah, make sure make sure you do the test. I think the biggest tip that I'll tell you is make sure you do the test. Don't just send everything over because while you could get lucky and it could work, you could also get unlucky and end up losing everything. So test, make sure a small amount goes through. Um, and then if that small amount goes through, then that's when you send the big amount. Now, me, I'm extra cautious. I'm the type to do multiple tests, but with these fees, I definitely didn't do multiple tests. You, I just did one test run. Like I gotta pay these fee, this fee twice. Fine, it's, it's, I'm gonna I'm do it, but best believe I didn't do as many test runs as I would usually do. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Let me know, let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if you found this helpful. Be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video so it can share around the community and more people can learn how to do this the proper way. I'm gonna leave the link to all my resources down below in the description. I'm gonna leave the link to the tweet first off. I'm gonna leave the link to the article and I'm gonna leave the um link link to um well, I, I guess that's it actually. <laughs> so uh yeah, that's that's what we got. I'm gonna leave those links down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications so you stay updated with everything going on. And yeah, I'm gonna catch you all on the next one. Peace out, homies.